<laughs> the scene has Scuttle mumbling 1492, the year Columbus sailed across the ocean in order to quote unquote find America. So maybe this is when mermaids were also first discovered, as in maybe there's a journal entry somewhere that's not available to the public. Whoa, what a swim! He makes a statement, oh, what a swim! as if implying mermaids can swim as fast in water as humans can probably run on land, maybe even faster. I think Scuttle dropping the anchor is a metaphor for being based or grounded, meaning what he is about to say is completely true, and he's being 100% honest. It's a dingle hopper. When he twirls his hair, it looks like strands of DNA coming together, and then when his hair poofs out, it's like an explosion or a life is created. <gasps> now the snarf flat dates back to prehistorical time. Then he calls the pipe a snarf blot, or an instrument that can cr make sound. A trumpet, maybe? He says it goes back to prehistoric times. How prehistoric? Ancient times? Note, the fish falls out, referring to the age of Pisces. When humans used to sit around and stare at each other all day. He said they would stare at each other all day, or communicate using telepathy. So, they invented this snarf blot to make fine music. When he blows into the pipe, or the trumpet, a plant grows. Could some type of sound enhance plant growth? Some type of frequency? I believe it's also a biblical reference to God speaking in the Bible, in Genesis when he created the world. Maybe you can make a little planter out of it. The scene concludes with saying that, well, we could just use this thing as a planter, because we don't actually know what some ancient ruins or items are actually used for. Then, before the scene finally ends, Ariel departs, and you see that Scuttle is on a stranded rock geographically, so he is like the Oracle geographically too. Ariel has to go out of her way for knowledge.